Hey guys, how are you doing? Jacob Becky here with White House on the Hill. We just wanted to make a quick video to celebrate a thousand subscribers. Thank you for being a part of our journey. And we just want to give a few tips that we've learned along the way. Whether you're interested in making videos for YouTube, whether you're in homesteading type of genre that we are in, or in some other genre on YouTube, I think these same practices can apply to you. We started this channel May 22nd of this year, 2017, and we hit a thousand subscribers on November 15th of 2017, so just a week short of six months. So did it go as fast as we thought it would? No. What do you think? How fast did you think we would get to a thousand subscribers? Maybe three months. Three months? So how did we get to a thousand subscribers? We wanted to go over five tips of what it took to get there. And be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because we've got an awesome giveaway for you. Number one would be chickens. If you didn't have chickens, I don't know what else you'd film all day. I guess you just sit around and talk. That's boring. <laughs> Number two, you have to have cute kids. And they gotta be doing funny stuff. Like this. It's getting me! Here, stand right there. Stand right there. Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Look at me and smile. Look at me and smile. <laughs> Number three, you've got to have cool YouTubers that talk about you and promote you. Like Justin Rhodes. Now we're at the White House on the Hill. Jake and Becca's and Beauty. Becky. Oh, Becky, sorry. <laughs> Doug and Stacy. Yeah, it's fun times. We're having a great time at the Homesteaders of America Conference in Virginia, and we hopefully we'll see you here next year. Ooh. You're so good. Man, he is good. And Dan and Ashley. And since we're on the subject of chickens today, I want to tell you about Jake and Becky over at White House on the Hill. Number four, you've got to have clickbait. You got to have lots of thumbnails with your hot wife in them. Or not. <laughs> Number five would be poop. That poop's funny. Aw, somebody pooped on the door. Come on. Okay, now let's talk about the five tips for real this time. So number one would be collaborations. We resisted this for a long time or didn't think we were worthy of other YouTubers' time or we were afraid to ask. So just asking and seeing who would we be willing to make videos with us, whether they were a big channel or a small channel. So that's something we're really working on and it's a great way to get our channel a lot faster exposure than to be discovered through searches and recommended videos on YouTube. Number two would be consistency. Getting out and making a video every single day. Putting something out there so viewers can get to know you a little bit better and they know they can rely on you every day. And from YouTube's algorithm standpoint, it's important to get videos out there, whether it's every day or several times a week. Just important to be picked up by YouTube, for them to recommend your videos, you've gotta put content out there. Your viewers won't wanna watch everything you put out, so just giving them lots of choices. And if we only relied on one or two videos a week, I don't know if there'd be enough for people to grasp onto. People get to know us quicker by posting videos four, five, six days a week. Number three is quality. Back in July, when we interviewed Justin Rhodes for our channel, he said this. You just gotta get better every day. What kind of advice is that? You just gotta get better. <laughs> how can I just beat that into the people's head? Look at yourself and say, how can I do this better tomorrow? And I'm sorry, it's that simple, I am. So gotta get better every day. It was something at the time that was kind of a joke when he said it, or I knew what he was trying to say, but he couldn't quite find the words to say it, but it's the truth. You just gotta get better every day, and there's no way you're gonna get better unless you work through small YouTuber problems and just get better every day. You guys know it when you see it in a video, when you see low quality, if you see it unedited, but we just felt like quality was such an important thing to attract new viewers, and we knew our existing viewers would always be able to trust that we were gonna put something out interesting or unique or cool, something that would be different than what they were usually seeing, and that we were always trying risks with our videos to try something new. Number four would be personality. Being yourself. Just showing people who you really are. Being happy. Smile. You should watch your videos and ask yourself, would you want to watch this video? If you don't even want to watch it, then don't even post it for other people to watch it. Number five is to make searchable and relevant topics. We're not all big YouTubers. We're not all awesome bloggers. We can't just make videos. We can't expect 
millions of people to watch our videos just because we put something out there. So people need to find your videos. You've got to put videos that they're looking for to find your channel. So I actually made about 15, 16 videos before anybody even subscribed to our channel just because I was making videos that were not very searchable. Once I made our chicken tractor build videos, we actually got our first subscribers but that wasn't until 17 or 18 videos. It was really hard to get out there initially, so making that first searchable video, that's now one of our top three or four videos out there, has continued to bring people into our channel. So make searchable titles, learn how to rank videos and searches, and make thumbnails and titles that stand out in a crowd. All right, it is time for the giveaway. So what do we have to give away? Show them what you got. We got a hammer. <laughs> All right guys, so some of our gifts are in progress. We got this hammer. We're gonna find a way, it still has this on it. We're gonna find a way to put our logo on here and make a White House on the Hill hammer. That is giveaway item number one. All right, you guys saw us make these pallet coasters. You saw Eli make these pallet coasters and we are gonna make a couple more and we are gonna customize it just for you. So we're gonna put a couple of these together and that will be item number two. Number three, our first ever White House on the Hill customized mug. Woo! So, what do you guys have to do to win? All you've gotta do is comment down in the comment section. Let us know when you started following our journey and what drew you to us or what kept you watching. What was it about us and our channel that has kept you coming back for more? We'd love to hear about it down in the comments and that comment will enroll you in our giveaway. We will randomly draw three names for the hammer, for the pallet coasters, and for the mug. This is the week before Thanksgiving. We will announce that in a video next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. Be sure to comment down below to enter into the drawing and we'll see you next time.